Hey kids, welcome back. In this devotional, we are continuing to get to know God a little bit better. And we want to learn what his character is like. Is he mean? Is he nice? Is he smelly? Is he big? Is he small? All of these things we can learn in the Word of God. Now, when we know somebody's character, we can trust their hearts because we know deep down inside who they really are. So one aspect that we're going to focus on today is the fact that God is unchanging. So I have a little game for you guys to play that you can actually recreate at home with your mom and dad or your brother and sister as something to do to pass the time. So I have these toys laid out right here and I'm going to give you a few seconds to memorize their layout and then in the next shot I want you to tell me what has changed. All right, so memorize it. One, two, three, four, five. Time's up. All right, can you spot the difference? What changed? Well, I see one, two, three, four, five things that changed. Can you spot the differences? I'll give you a hint. First, these little girls were switched around. Second, these two were flip-flopped. Same with the policeman and the stop sign, they were flip-flopped as well. This guy was turned around, and this rhinoceros, well, he was on the other side. So what does that have to do with God? What this teaches us about God is, unlike this game where it's really fun to spot the difference, God never changes. Let's read Hebrews 13, eight together. And I'm actually gonna teach you how to study scripture. So that way when you read your Bible at home, you know how to dig in deep and how to apply it to your life. All right, Hebrews 13, eight says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Another place, Malachi 3, six says, for I, the Lord, do not change. Now we learned in the last devotional that God is a trinity, three persons in one. God the Father, God the Son, who is Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. So if the Bible says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, it's really saying God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So we're going to do a little exercise called SOAP. You heard me right, it's called SOAP. S-O-A-P. Now S stands for scripture, which is what we just read. O is observation. So what's our observation about that scripture? Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hmm. What can I observe about that truth? That means that God doesn't change. That means that his promises doesn't change. His will for us doesn't change. His love for us doesn't change. His goodness, his kindness, it doesn't change. He can't change. He is good. And so because we know through scripture that he loves us, that love can't change. His thoughts about us, how much he cares for us, it doesn't change. What a cool thing to observe about scripture. Now we know about God's character, maybe something we didn't before. God does not change. He's the same yesterday and a thousand years and a thousand years before that and before that and before that. He's the same in the past, where we are right now, and the future. He doesn't change. Now, how can we apply that to our life? What does that mean for us? Well, I think what that means for me is that I can trust in him because I know he's not gonna change like a shifting shadow. Another scripture in the Bible in James 1 talks about the fact that Jesus doesn't change like the shifting of shadows. So I can apply that to my life by really trusting in Jesus, trusting that his intentions for me, the plans he has for me haven't changed. Even when I mess up or I wish I could have done something differently or maybe I said something wrong. That doesn't mean God will change. 
even though my feelings might change, God's feelings don't change. Not towards me and not towards you. So that's the A in SOAP is application. Now P is prayer. Praying scripture is something that is very, very powerful. And it just means that we pray about what we just read. And it kind of helps solidify things in our hearts. And the Bible teaches us that prayer has immense power and produces wonderful results. So when we pray scripture over our lives, we get awesome results. So let's pray this scripture. Jesus, we just read that you don't change, that you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. And God, we just hold on to that truth. Would you help us trust in you and realize even when we're afraid or we doubt that there we doubt that you're there or you feel far away, will we will you help us remember that you're right there with us, that you don't change, that we can trust in you. We can trust in the plans that you have for us that they're good. And we can trust that you'll never leave us or forsake us. In Jesus name. Amen. All right, so a fun activity for you guys. You can go ahead and play this spot the difference game with your family at home, or I thought it would be cool to trace some shadows to remind us that God doesn't change like the shadows do. Here, follow me, let's do it together. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this activity is a light. You can also use the sun a little toy figure and some paper and a pen and what we're going to do is shine the light on it as you can see and trace the shadow now the interesting thing about the shadow as you can see i'm about to move the light is as the light moves the shadow totally changes and becomes bigger <laughs> or smaller depending on where the source of the light is coming from now the cool thing about God is he doesn't change like these shadows. You know why? Because he is the light. So let's trace this shape and maybe move the light around a little bit more and trace it again. You experiment, use as many animals or figures as you want. And at the top, just write, God doesn't change. 